Uh, guys, congratulations on the film. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, really, really enjoyed it. Uh, before I ask you about the film, I'm always curious, and I try and always ask people this. What are your cinematic firsts? Do you remember when you were growing up what the first film you saw at the cinema? And if that was the film that left an indelible mark on you, that was the one that kind of wanted to, you to get into this. Well, there are two that I there's two that I remember because I lived around the corner from a movie theater, and it was my brothers, my older brother, older sister's duty to send me, bring me to the movies with them. My brother loved Bruce Lee movies, so um, I forget which one it was, uh, but I, I started watching Bruce Lee movies and also Carrie because my sister saw horror movies. I don't really care for a lot of physical movies and I don't care for horror movies, so that informed what I do now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have a feeling it was probably something Disney. I, I may have been Toby Tyler, a movie about a little boy and a chimpanzee and the chimpanzee accidentally, or, and he's with a circus and he runs away, joins the circus and the chimpanzee gets shot. And I remember feeling very distressed and mm -hmm. crying, but then the, the monkey is fine and Toby, I don't, I don't remember it. But I just remember, I, re I remember very vividly going, this isn't real, but I'm feeling these things that feel real. And so I was really, so I was, <laughs> was being analytical, you know, at seven or eight going, I'm feeling something, but this thing that I'm watching isn't real, but that's fascinating that it's making me feel these real things. So that's very specifically. But I don't think that had, I think that had some sort of impact on me. And then when I saw years later, I think when I was in, in college seeing Nashville, Robert Altman's film, mm. that that had, I went, oh, it can be, it can be emotional and kind of over the top and political and have an edge and have a fragility and have a performance equation and I, and, and it can be nonlinear, but you know exactly where you are. So I, that, that film liberated my brain in a very specific way. And I guess the Toby Tyler uh, movie made me feel something, which I thought was startling. That's a great answer. We can end the interview right there. There we go. Leave on that. You guys have worked together before. Um, going into this, did you feel like you guys had a bit more of a shorthand and a bit more of a kind of understanding of how each other works? Because obviously dealing with a real person and a real story and there's a responsibility there. Did that make it easier that you guys had kind of had maybe a shorthand or that you'd had experience working I think, together? I think so. For me, I, feel, I, feel, I really love that it, we had a shorthand. I understood the way George operated um, and, it was, and what, what the sort of demands of production would be and how we would create. And so George likes to have a, a great rehearsal process and do table work and all that stuff. So you're prepared for that. Your, your body and your mind is prepared for it. And so you're you know how flexible you need to be as well. Um, I, I love that we have a we had a shorthand. I think it made the work we were able to get to it and not like you know have to parcel out certain things to get to it. We had we could just get he could just say something to me and I can understand exactly how to articulate it or try to figure it out. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think you I, I think a vocabulary had evolved, but then this this was this project. While there were similarities, felt very different. The canvas felt mm -hmm. larger. The the mm -hmm. people, all the characters in Rustin, the the all the characters in Ma Rainey, they have a they have different types of elo eloquence, and different types of, of of ways of communicating. Whereas I think all the characters in Rustin are operating from a high octane intellectual ferocity. And so that was fun to play with. And so, uh, so, so, and, 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 and I, and I agree with Coleman just in the sense that, that, that it was a chance to evolve the vocabulary, but then, you know, one, the, 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 the cat, the, the vocabulary that existed inside of Ma Rainey was like an espresso. Um, and the, and the vocabulary that existed inside of Rustin was like crack on crack or something, some really intense because the stakes, yeah. the stakes were high, but the stakes were, you know, the stakes in um, Ma Rainey were, I, I want to make my life better. 
the stakes all the characters had in this is I want to make the world better. Mm. Yeah. I'm, I'm always curious about when people, uh, you, you're on both sides of the coin in terms of when you bring kind of real stories back to life. Because for actors, some people go very method and very inhabit the role all the time. Some people don't like to do that. For you guys on each side of the coin as an actor and a director, what's the kind of happy medium? What's the, what's the place that you came together for your performance and also for you to bring him to life? Was it very method or was there kind of a, a, a middle well, there's, ground? There's, there's something about method that doesn't honestly work for me. I think being close to character makes sense to me, where you can, you know, know how to navigate, you know, dealing with your grips and your DP and being able to be a collaborator. I can't do that as Rustin. I can do that as Coleman. But I, but also there, there are times when you must remain a little closer to the emotional core of the character on the day and the, or the way you set yourself up. That's what I understand. So I feel like, yeah, I, it, it's never worked for me in that way. I know that there are times where I need to be closer to character, where it's like, okay, I may need to be a bit more isolated today, but I have to be, for me, it's not, then that's, I can't be in a silo to do this work. And especially a film like Rustin, where there's 130 people on set and you have to really help navigate because they, they're flowing through you and the way you're, you're making this work happen. So you can't be in a silo, you have to be, have a sense of generosity and spirit and service to everyone there. Yeah. And I think it's I, th I think it's a similar thing. I mean, I, in in some respects, there is an analytical equation, but that analytical equation needs, also needs to be, you know, in collaboration with with a nurturing environment, because I think that if you create a net of safety, it's easier for actors, in particular, but everybody, to to feel. N naked and available to the moment hmm. and 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 doing so with heart and vulnerability and intelligence and you want all of those I think there are two schools of directing I think you stand where you are and demand people come to you or you go to where they are and charm seduce you know get them to go on the journey where they end up in a place where you want them but in the second way they bring all their secrets that they have as human beings living on the planet. And when you force something, I think that's less likely to happen. So, uh, so a, very, a, a very generous and, 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 and evolving way of work so that therefore it, it, it allows for a discovery and, and a, and a uh, startling revelation of a moment. Yeah. This is why I like working with this guy. Mm. This is a true actor's director and it, and it requires that sense of generosity to get something that we, you didn't even know what it was inside of you out of you yeah. which is beautiful I feel like I could I'm not an actor I feel like if I worked for you I could give I bet the <laughs> I, I believe so too I I believe so. start right now that. exactly an action exactly <laughs> oh what a Roman peasant slave in my family go for it <laughs> uh, guys I love you to talk to you okay. I wish you all the best for the movie thank, thank you very much for your time you. pleasure ladies and gentlemen you're watching Hey You Guys Hey You Guys Hey You Guys hey, hey, hey. that's what they all say Hey You Guys Hey You Guys